Hi friends, another candle review. This is Homeworks Chestnuts Roasting. This is in their three wick formula, the 14 ounce. I have seen this one on the homeworks.shop website. However, I picked up this particular candle at my local Marshall's, so you might be able to find it there. It did come with the quote unquote old packaging of the kind of wooden lid that you can actually reuse as a coaster. I actually prefer those lids. I, I, I like the aesthetic of this older packaging on the three wicks more so I think than the new um, the new packaging on some of the three wicks. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review. So as you can see, I kind of like that the scent notes are listed right on the front here. They are roasted chestnuts, brown butter, nutmeg and smoked cedar wood. Now, chestnut fragrances can be hit or miss with me, to be honest with you. Sometimes I love them and sometimes I find them to be a bit cloying. There was one that Bath and Body Works had a few years ago, or maybe it's still in existence, and that one was just way too much for me. This one I think is actually a beautiful blend. I really enjoy this fragrance. So the chestnut note does stand out to me as does the nutmeg. There is a bit of that browned butter, which you know is not just like a regular stick of butter, but almost kind of like when you are, um, you know, you're browning butter, I guess there is a distinct smell to it. Cedar wood, the smoked cedar wood, I would not necessarily say that this is a smoky scent, although I do get a little bit of smokiness here, which I think kind of tamps down the sweetness that you would probably get from the, um, the nutmeg and the chestnuts. I actually really enjoy this fragrance. It is a chestnut forward scent with that nutmeg and brown butter with the cedar wood note kind of taking the back seat to my nose at least. Now let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle because as you might be able to see, this one is kind of on the struggle bus. So this one was doing pretty well for me um, upon the first few burns. You can see, you can see it's not even completely pulled out and this has been lit for almost two hours. The wicks are kind of struggling. Now, what I will tell you on this one, and I just talked about it on the um, By the Fireside review because it's a similar format, although a little bit newer candle, I think. I think it's a little bit newer formula. What I have found with some of these wicks is that I have to really be careful about how short I am trimming them. In fact, I have started taking the approach of really trying not to trim them at all. Instead, I am trying to let the wax pool harden. If there is a huge mushroom top, which I did not experience with this chestnuts roasting, but with some of my four wick homeworks candles, I am experiencing that. I will try to just get that carbon ball trimmed off, but don't cut it any shorter. And then what I will do is go in with a tissue and just gently, gently um, kind of not even, I wouldn't even say rub, but just gently touch those wicks with a piece of tissue to pull off any residue and let it be. And I find that that seems to be giving me a little bit better burn quality. So this one, the wicks are struggling on it. Honestly, after I blow this out, I will probably go stick it in my candle crock just to get the remaining amount out of it and uh, move on from there. So the one thing that I do want to talk about is the strength and throw of this one. Of the three wick candles that I have purchased from Homeworks, I will say that this one has been the strongest fragrance. This this fragrance is pretty strong, you guys. I would say that this one is probably about a seven. This has been the only three wick candle that I have purchased from Homeworks this year that has filled my living room up. Um, so the strength is about a seven. I would say that the throw is still probably around a five and a half, six on this one. It's not going to fill, fill up your entire house. Definitely not. I mean, it's a three wick candle. I don't really expect it to. Um, however, this one I, I can smell it pretty much all throughout my living room, um, but I think that it, it's the strength that really can kind of bowl me over because it's funny, if, if I burn it in my bedroom, I almost find it to be too strong in there, um, but I find it to be nice in my living room. So um, I don't find that it travels outside of my bedroom when I burn it in here, um, but if I, but if I, put it in my living room, which is an open concept. Um, I, I can smell it pretty well in there and it, and it's pretty strong. I mean, it's definitely, like I said, of all three homeworks 
three wigs that I have purchased this fall slash early winter. This one has been the strongest of all of them. I do believe that this is a beautiful fragrance for this time of year. It would pair very nicely, just like I, I, I think a lot of these candles that um, Harry has designed would pair very nicely with a tree note, maybe like white birch. Um, I, 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 I'm kind of thinking of that one. That that would be a very beautiful pairing to kind of give that cool winter night, but you are nice and warm and toasty inside type of vibe. Um, I actually really like this one. I am curious to um, smell some other chestnut scents from some other candle brands, but I would recommend the scent on this. I'm not sure that I can give it another thumbs up just because of the puny wick issues that I've had. And also you can see that it's, I don't know if you saw this or not, but there is a little bit of sooting issues going on around the sides. So I wouldn't say that this one is... Um, up to the homeworks quality that I expect, but this one may also be from older stock. So I don't know. I wasn't even going to review this one, but then I saw that it was available on the homeworks website. And so I thought, well, people might be curious about it. And honestly, it's one that if I were to get it for a decent enough price, like if I could get it for under $10, I would probably pick up another one, probably not this season. Um, I will probably pick up another one. Now that is just me personally because I got a lot of candles to review for you guys and I only have so much storage space. So um, it's a beautiful scent. I think it goes well with this time of year. November in particular, I like I like chestnut type of scents for November. De eh, December, I honestly go full-blown holiday, like tree notes and peppermint and all that kind of stuff. And then when January rolls around again, sometimes if it's a cold day, I tend to go for some of these warm, cozy scents again. If you're wondering, isn't it always cold in January? Well, I live in Arizona. So um, yeah, some days it's cold here. A cold day to us is probably like a nice spring day to many people throughout the country. But um, yeah, for, for me here, um, sometimes we have cold days and other days it's 72. So I just never know what I'm going to get in January, hence the fluctuation. Let me know, do you guys like this candle? Have you seen this one in your local Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, maybe at Ulta? I don't see it listed on the Ulta website, but you might run into it in store if your local store carries the Ulta brand, or not the Ulta brand, the Homeworks brand in store. Uh, let me know, have you picked this one up? How is it performing for you? Are you having strange wick issues, like some puny wick issues on these three wicks? I would be curious to know. Hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. Once again, if you are coming across my channel for the first time, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. I like to talk about beauty and home fragrance, particularly candles on this channel. So if you don't want to miss out on that type of content, make sure you're subscribed. I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. And you know the drill until my next video. I truly actually do hope that you go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.